Hi guys, my name is Sinta and I'm a student from International University Liaison Indonesia. And today I'm going to talk about the traditional food from Minangkabau, West Sumatra. The first one is sendang and the second one is as durian. So without further ado, let's talk about the first one. So rendang, rendang comes from the word marandang, which means slowly. This reverts to the length of time the rendang is cooked to produce to produce a dry meat texture and a strong aroma of spices with a dark brown color and maximum flavor. So actually, rendang is a cooking technique, not a food name. Rendang was originally made using a buffalo meat as the main ingredients. And for the Minangkabau people, this is made with buffalo meat are usually enjoyed in, cert- in certain traditional events. And rendang is the mother of food in the Minangkabau tradition. The philosophy of rendang departs from the four main ingredients that symbolize the integrity of the Minang community. So daging or meat is ninja mamak or it symbolizes the traditional tribal leaders. Second is karambia or kakanat, it symbolizes the intellectuals. And then lado or chili as a symbol of scholars. And the cooking describes the entire Minangkabau community. Rendang can be developed to all corners of Indonesia. East region has a processing factory. However, the taste of the rendang must be the same as that rendang in West Sumatra. Rendang has great power as culinary diplomacy to create cross-cultural understanding. Rendang was chosen as the best culinary in the world and also one of the culinary icons of the archipelago. Because rendang culinary contains special spices and natural ingredients, in the processing of cooking it, rendang has a delicious taste that is savory and delicious so that local and foreign tourists also like the taste of rendang culinary. So if you're curious, you have to watch the cooking method of rendang in the next. Hari ini aku mau bikin rendang. Jadi ini aku pakai setengah kilo daging, tapi ini udah dicampur pakai hati sama limpa. Terus ini untuk bumbu yang akan dihalusin, bawang merah, bawang putih, cabai rawit, jahe, lengkuas. Terus untuk rempah uh, rendangnya aku pakai setengah eh dua dua sendok. Terus ini daun daunnya, ini cabai merahnya. Sekarang aku mau masak dulu. Kita masak dulu santannya itu sama bumbu halus sama cabai giling ini belum kita masukin daun-daun dan yang lain cuma bumbu halus sama cabai rawit dulu kita masak dulu santannya aku pakai satu kilo aja karena aku cuma punya daging setengah kilo jadi santannya satu kilo aja nah ini aku mau masak dulu sampai dia tanah sampai dia keluar minyak ini harus Nah kalau udah mendidih kayak gini, ini boleh kita masukin kayak daun-daun Masukin daun-daunnya Nah ini kuahnya itu udah mengental, jadi ini kita masukin bumbu terakhir sebelum masukin daging Nah kita masukin semua rempahnya Nah ini sudah tanah sudah keluar minyak sekarang ini proses kita masukin daging ini akan kita masak sekitar 2 atau sampai 3 jam lagi nah ini udah setengah jalan sekitar 1 jam lagi ini kalau kita tambahin ambu-ambu makin enak lagi cuma aku gak punya stok ya udah ini udah wangi banget udah mulai kering tinggal kita tunggu sampai menghitam ini sebenarnya rendangnya udah jadi kalau masih mau yang enggak terlalu kering ya bisa dimatikan apinya tapi aku mau yang lebih hitam lagi dari ini oke okay, that was the cooking matter of rendang and now we're gonna talk about the second one which is ice durian Fresh and delicious durian ice is indeed 
an alternative not only to quench thirst but also as a special menu that is often enjoyed by Padang City residents and tourists. In several places in the city of Padang, they serve durian ice, but one of the places to enjoy the most the famous ice durian is Es Durian Nganti Nan Lamo in Indonesia, which means change the old. This place in Simang Pulang Kamarm is quite legendary, even supposedly already from the colonial era. The two durian ice shops are both located on Jalan Pulau Karam in Pondok, the Chinatown area of Padang City. And the name of the shop is Es Durian Ika Gantinyo and another is Es Durian Nganti Nan Lamo. When tasting the special durian ice, you will be able to enjoy the delicious durian ice layer by layer. Start the dance topping durian scented ice cream. And not only does it smell like durian, but there's also durian flesh added. While the second layer, durian, which is finely blended so that is that it is yellow. And the taste is sweet and slightly bitter with a sharp durian aroma. Okay guys, let's just see the cooking method of ice durian. First, we're gonna need to spread the durian flesh from the seeds and then we're gonna need to mix the durian with the things that I have right here and then after it, we're gonna need to blend the ice and then plate the durian ice with chinchow, ice and milk and pour the durian flesh that we have mixed before and then we can add some topping for it but the special room from Minangkabau is with ice cream. It's so delicious. Okay guys, there was a little bit explanation from me about rendang and ice durian. If you haven't tried yet, I hope you guys can try it sooner. Thank you.